Don't insult me with your silly offer. There are things more important than money. This is not about money. Anyone, I mean, anyone that has only money has nothing. It's poor, and you know that. So what do you want from me, huh? You know, you are a very resourceful man, Mr. Guiado. And you owe us a lot. So let's say, treat you like an asset. In other words, you do whatever, I mean, whatever we ask you to do and whenever we need your service. Look, I am nobody's puppet. I have no business with you, all right? I didn't ask you to get me out of police custody. <laughs> well, the butter asked on your behalf. How did you think you got away with the murder of a senator? Look, I did not ask for your help. Whatever Dabuta did, she did for herself, okay? I am not a helpless woman like Dabuta, but she will intimidate, okay? We'll be in touch. Look, I am not through with you. I am not through with you! What did he say? What did he what? Listen to me. Listen to me. You will tell me what you got me involved in. Or I will kill you here. Right now! Chiki! Chiki! Oh! What is it? What is it? Why are you shouting my name? You told the electrician to stop the wiring. Oh, yes, I did. And I also asked the movers to pack your stuff out of this place. You guys are done here. And besides, the Spaniard space. Stop being so difficult. What business of this magnitude does not have security cameras in place? That is not your call. I already gave you your quick notice. What are you even still doing here? What quick notice? Who do you think you are? Justice, get out of my way. No. You know what? I'm not going to waste my time exchanging words with you. I'm done with you. Same here. How dare you put your stinking mouth? What makes you think I like you, huh? Justice, I'm going to so deal with you in this town. I'm sorry. I thought I saw a green light there, so I went for it. I wonder what your boss is going to think of this. Hey, I said I was sorry. You don't have to take it that far. Kiki, I'm sorry. Hey. FK, I confided in you as a friend. I asked you to forget everything I said, and yet all you did was sell the information to the blog. How could you? I, I have no idea what you're talking oh, about. Oh, don't lie to me. Haven't you seen what the blogs are saying about my mother? Oh, that. Wait, why is that even a big deal? I mean, you resented her for it, didn't you? Yes, I did. I do, but she's still my mother. You had no right to make it public. I did not tell you to leak it. Do you know how this makes my father look? Wait, wait, wait. You think that I leaked it? Babe, I don't engage in petty gossip. I only do professional work, and that is far from professional. So who licked it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe Naf told someone. Maybe he still holds a grudge against you guys after getting jailed. Besides, you told me in this same restaurant, just like the way you're yelling at me now. Anybody could have been listening. 
I can't believe you would actually you would actually think that I would do something like that to you. I'm sorry. It's fine. Are we ordering or what? We still need to talk about what happened at your house last night. What's there to talk about? Oh, Ioma, you can't keep bottling things up. Sometimes you just need to talk it out. Relieve yourself of the burden. What can I say? My family is dysfunctional. Every family has its own drama. My family, we have issues as well. We can sometimes be a bit... Where is Papa Talatu? He's supposed to have pulled the car into the driveway by now. Let me call him. He sometimes wanders off to have conversation with people or smoke or something. Yeah. He isn't answering. <sighs> to be honest, I'm actually quite tired of this man. If not for his age and the fact that he has many children to feed, I would have probably requested a new driver by now. I can't constantly keep looking for him. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep doing this and... Sure, you still want to go ahead with this? Yes. Okay. No. Okay. okay. <sighs> Sorry about what happened yesterday. Oh, I wanted to apologize to you and Tivdu. Where is he? <laughs> he um <clears throat> he's, he's still in bed. At this time? Is he not going to work today? Um I uh, he's um he uh <clears throat> he's he's uh, oh, What's going on? Uh, mom, mom, um, please, mommy, wait. Medicine, so that we can stop what you're doing and leave my son. Just stay there, Mom. You have the right to interfere. I have every right to interfere. I am your mother, but you're not the one in the wheelchair. I am your mother, and I know what is best for you. <laughs> so it's best for me to be in the wheelchair, right? Tiff, do. Don't do this, please. Oh. Don't do this. Please, just go home. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay here with you. Please, just go home. Leave. Just leave. You and your men need to stop messing with my work. Messing with your work? 
I have never come here to tell you how to run your business. But since Justice is your watchdog <laughs> and doesn't have a brain of his own, I'm here to deliver a quick notice to you personally. Your work keep attracting hooligans to the spa and that is bad for business. I see. I have had enough. Installing security cameras, that was drawing the last straw. Enough is enough. But cameras are good for security. You should have informed me first before making that decision. Is there something you would like to say? Hmm? I have tried to have civil conversation with you on several occasions. But apparently, this isn't working. So I am going to speak to the only available partner, Jesse. Jesse will have to look for another partner to replace you. If that's all, I have other things to attend to. Is that how you resolve issues? Hmm? I don't get involved in minor issues. I have big stuff to worry about. Are you trying to get under my skin? No. I'm just saying it as it is. This is about the massage. Hmm? It's about the massage. Look, I don't have time for this nonsense. And I cannot join you in this song and dance. I have told you what I want. What do you want? because this was a mistake and it won't be happening again. I hope you also know that this mistake will not make me change my mind on the way things are done at the spa. Whatever. I have a business to run. Kiki, wait. there wouldn't be a next time. Mm. Slow down, I can't hear you. 
Yes, I can hear you now. I was a raid at the border. What about my girls? Rescued. My men? But by... Arrested by who? Where? Excuse us. <sighs> what do you want? How did you use the number I gave you? Well, I have something for you. Um, the last time you and your colleague came to see me, a part of my story went out to the press. I think I have another story for the press. You think? I don't trust journalists. The last time one of them got to report about my situation of when I was in the hospital, nothing came out from that. This is different. I see. Okay. All right then, so how much are you going to pay me for this information I'm about to give you? <laughs> Nothing. You came to me, remember? Okay then. Then I will be on my way. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Be ready to hear from the police. Rumor has it that you tried to pour acid on Ioma Guillado. <laughs> That's a criminal offense. Wait, how did you even know that? <laughs> Wait, was that what she told you? Just tell me what you know. See, the Guiados have a massive PR machine and money to talk their way out of trouble. But you? <laughs> With all due respect, Tani Babai, what's your surname and why should anyone care what you have to say? So that's how they want to play this. Well, game on. I know the Guiados are very shady, but I'm ready to expose them. Good. What do you have on them? Well, first of all, the incidents at the party. I didn't fall down from those stairs. I was pushed, and I know who did it. If this was back in Germany, the police would have covered every inch of the perimeter of this hotel. Even the hotel staff would have provided enough information from their security cameras to aid the investigation. So-called reputable hotel with zero security. I'm just glad that Baba Talatu is okay. That was a relief. I cannot even begin to imagine. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hey, brother. Who be do? Your order, man. What is this? This isn't what I ordered. I need to have a word with your mother. Mother, please. I thought. Mother, please. I'm sorry. No, no, no. This I am just right by the corner. Yeah, the taxi driver. Drop me by the corner. Can't you see me? <laughs> hey. Okay, this just 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 look at your right. Yes. No, I okay, I mean your left. Sorry, your left. Your your other left. Hey, is Lagos this confusing? I am right here. Excuse me. This table is occupied. 
What is my business if you're on the phone? Do you not see my bag here? This table is occupied. I can't eat my food in peace. Strangers are sitting at my table. What kind of business do you operate here? Sir, you cannot sit here. Madame and Oga were here before you, sir. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> oh, God. Marcos! Hey! <laughs> it is good to see uh, you, brother. Good tag. Good to see you, too. It has been so long. <laughs> wow. Ioma, sorry. This is my best friend. You remember him, Marcos? Um, Void sent him to close the sale of Gazelle. Marcos, this is Ioma. <laughs> so tell me, how long did you search the street to find me? Find him. Do these doozy nights. <laughs> you, you literally made me do that for nothing. Oh, really? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good to meet you, Marcos. So, so, sorry about earlier. It's nothing. Excuse me, I, I have to take this. Sure, sure, sure. Sit, sit, sit. Yes, that is my Ioma. No way. No way. That girl is not meant for you. Oh, come on, Marcos. Well, you met her like two seconds ago. Oh, well, I know spoiled and entitled girls when I see them. That girl is one of them, and I am telling you, she is not meant for you. Do you know what your son is doing to himself? I am fine. Thanks for asking. I went to apologize to him and I found out that... Well, since you won't ask, I got this injury from the people that got me out of jail. I went to see Dabota for an explanation. And I met a guy who did this to me. Tivdo is in regression. If Dabota had not showed up at the family dinner, there would never have been an altercation that would have made Tivdo feel useless. And it is your fault. No, it's not my fault. You keep dragging us from one mess to another, and you don't even care what any one of us is going through. Come on, Abimbo. You know that's not true. Eh? It's not true. Look, this family might be in trouble, all right? But you know I would go out on a ledge for any of you. I am done pandering to your every whim. I am done being a member of this family. What's that supposed to mean? I want a divorce. Next on Unbroken. Give me my father's company. Don't make an even bigger mess than you already have. Over my dead body. You barely have a leg to stand on. And when my father's will is executed, you're going to come crashing down. 